polling location. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Alona Carson, in for Gina Gaston. Early voting had barely gotten underway when a dispute between candidate supporters in a district house race ended in violence. Ivan News News reporter Sonia Zad joining us live with the story. Sonia. Well, Dave, there's no question that the race for District 149 is heated and nasty. But what happened here outside this polling location takes it to a whole new level. And I moved back. Were you scared? Yes, because I am 74 years old. Spike Wynn says he was attacked with a box cutter for hoisting this banner outside the A-Leaf Library during early voting. The banner is trying to label me as a communist while I fought and I still am fighting against the Vietnamese communists. This man, Peter Vo, was arrested outside the polling location and charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. I saw that he punched and he pushed and he used his knife and tried to, uh, to cut the man. Uh, it's the latest flare-up in a feisty race between two Vietnamese men for the House District 149 seat. Democratic incumbent Hubert Vo is running against Republican Al Huang, who previously served on Houston City Council. This is the sign. Dennis we, Colligan says his uh, Hubert Vo sign was stolen from uh, his front yard and replaced uh, with an Al Wong sign. sign. That's mine. Nobody should be messing with it. If I choose to, I can file a lawsuit. Al Wong on. recently like, sued a weekly Vietnamese magazine for libel, saying they called him a Vietnamese communist spy. Vietnam Hubert Vo supporters Vietnam. boycotted Wong, saying Wong shouldn't visit communist government leaders in Vietnam. Huang argues any visits were made as part of his official capacity on Houston's trade missions to Asia. Now, my opponent is trying to use that and label me as a communist. In District 149, roughly 20 percent of voters are Vietnamese. The threat of violence, though, won't keep them away from the polls. Because to voters like Fike Nguyen, it means he lives in a democracy where his voice matters. Today I come back because I love freedom. And Peter Vo is out of jail tonight on bond. He's due in court tomorrow morning. By the way, no relation between Peter Vo and Hubert Vo. We're live in Southwest Houston tonight. Sonia Azad, 13 Eyewitness News.